What what what's, mm -hmm. what are you eating? Big Mac. A Big yeah. Mac? Yeah. Well, that meat, it's gonna make you fat, you know. Yes, but I'm already fat. You're already fat? But you're gonna add fat to your system and tax your heart and liver and kidney more. Yeah. That's gonna cause problems. I know. See, that, that meat has chemicals in it and it gets caught up in the fat. And when it gets released, it kind of like destroys your muscles and your bones and your eyes, causing arthritis, high blood pressure, and muscle deterioration. Well, what am I supposed to eat? What are you supposed to eat? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think cows eat hamburgers, and they seem to be quite they healthy. Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy, Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, it's Inspired by Dreams, Dop Shop. Dress outside of the box. Stay original. Okay, today's episode, this is more than crazy. This is what I've been telling people. Bad foods. It's just so many different things that you don't understand. And there's a lot of stuff going on as far as the food industry that people are starting to realize why they're getting sick on a daily. It's more than just the food, it's the things in the air. But you guys gotta pay attention to what's going on. So I just put this video together for you guys to just open your minds up to the things you eat and the things that they have out there for you to put in your body. Be careful of what you eat in these times. Let's get it. The five most dangerous fruits in the world that may cause death if ingested mistakenly. Number one, yellow, carambola. The yellow variety of carambola contains oxalic acid and trace amounts of cyanide. These two substances are deadly toxins for individuals with kidney damage. Excessive consumption can also lead to gastrointestinal discomfort, dizziness, and vomiting in healthy individuals. Number two, poison, guava. This fruit is native to the Americas. The fruit resembles a green apple in appearance. However, it contains deadly toxins. The fruit's juice can irritate the skin, causing blisters. It may even lead to choking and death if ingested. Number three, unripe peaches. Unripe peaches and peach pits contain amygdalin. This substance can be converted into hydrogen cyanide in the human body. This is a toxic neurotoxin. It can cause serious harm to the human body, including poisoning, difficulty breathing, and even death. Number four, desert watermelon. The flesh of this watermelon, which grows in the desert, is white. It contains little water and toxic substances. Symptoms such as dizziness and nausea may occur after consumption. Number five, you. This fruit is bright red, similar to a cherry. But this type of fruit can damage the cardiovascular system. Consumption may lead to poisoning and even death. Five foods that will actually kill you if you eat them. Raw, bitter almonds. You know, there's sweet almonds and there's bitter almonds. It's outlawed, actually, to sell bitter almonds. They have hydrogen cyanide in them. Unless you actually heat them, you can die from just eating a few of these things. Blood clams. I love clams, but I'd never touch these. In Shanghai, they only cook them for 20 seconds in a hidden restaurant. And over 300,000 people a year get sick from these things. And 30 deaths. Rhubarb. Rhubarb is delicious, the red part. But if you actually eat the green leaves, you will die. You have to eat a lot of the leaves, though. Aki fruit, it's a huge delicacy in Jamaica. You have to wait till it opens though, otherwise it could kill you. That black seed is poisonous. And finally, bat soup. Yes, that is a bat floating in broth. Guess what, it's a delicacy in Asia. And if you eat this thing, you could actually die. That's because these little buggers eat cyan seeds which contain DDT. The noodles. Exactly. Here's the deal. New research from the Mayo Clinic is showing that it can increase the risk for metabolic syndrome, especially for women. And that can mean increased risk for heart problems, stroke, and diabetes. But researchers say it's not just ramen. Any instant noodle products could be putting you in danger if you're eating them more than twice a week. So why are women affected the most? Probably because of BPA that's found in the packaging, which is known to mess with those estrogen levels. And a look at what exactly happens once ramen noodles make it into your stomach. 
And it's all thanks to a camera swallowed like a pill. You can see the stomach contracting back and forth, trying to grind up those noodles. The striking thing about our experiment, when you look at a time interval, one hour or two hours, we notice that processed ramen noodles were less broken down than homemade ramen noodles. And take a closer look. You can clearly see the difference between 20 minutes and two hours. Okay, so if you're like me, you're never gonna eat a peach pit or a nectarine pit, but I know I would wanna know if it would kill me if I did. And that's the situation here. That is the pit of a nectarine, really hard outer shell. If you smash it open, you'll see a little seed inside. It looks like an almond. And then this almond contains a chemical called amygdalin, which when broken down by the body, it turns into cyanide and can lead to cyanide poisoning. So you might be wondering, okay, well, how many of these can I eat? Well, don't eat any of them. Don't swallow or chew any of the seeds or pits. Um, just don't do it. We don't need to know how many will make you sick. Just don't even do it. Um, if you are feeling ill, call 000911 and then ask for poison control and they can help you out. It's real and what are they just feeding us? We are eating ourselves. Wow. We are eating ourselves. Wow. We are eating ourselves. Wow. We are eating human. We are eating ourselves. What the fuck? And this is why I say what I say. Let her talk. Let her talk. I'm going to bring this back, chat. Let her talk. Let her talk. Eating ourselves. Wow. We are eating ourselves. Wow. We are eating human. We are eating ourselves. What the fuck? And this is why I say what I say. What? The more I eat it, the way that I feel, what my spirit is telling me, there's not even, there's no amount of plants in any building across the world that can produce as much as meat as we eat. That's a fact. But guess what they are producing every day? Dead niggas. That's a fact. Facts, facts. Oh, shit. Have you ever thought about that? This is considered one of the dirtiest foods in the world. Not only does it contain a large amount of feces, but it also carries deadly bacteria. Eating it frequently could likely lead to cancer. Every morning, the owner starts the day by cleaning the intestines. Then, the clean intestines are put into an iron pot to cook. <laughs> Meanwhile, fresh onions, cinnamon leaves, and other spices oh are crushed and added to the pot. Hmm. This not only eliminates the gamey smell of the pig intestines, but also enhances their umami flavor. What? With continuous high heat, the meaty aroma of the pig intestines soon fills the air. The owner quickly scoops them out and washes off any surface stains. What? Then, they are placed on a sizzling hot plate to grill. As the hot plate heats up, the pig intestines become golden and crispy, <laughs> emitting a burnt aroma. To make more money, the clever owner even created a more delicious food, teppan pig lungs. <gasps> The preparation method is similar to that of the pig intestines, but the taste is even more unique. What? The chopped pig intestines and lungs are mixed together and fried again. What? The food I continuously can't. emits a burnt <laughs> aroma. Look. America's food is banned in 30 countries. The food is killing people. Oh yeah, it's definitely killing people. If it's genius. Somebody were to buy a bag of Lay's potato chips versus buying it in Europe and look at the ingredients, they're totally different. It makes me wonder what happened here. They will make the healthier version for another country. This That's a fact. Facts, facts. Over 10,000 food chemicals that are allowed in the American population or food system that aren't allowed in other countries. It makes it easier for food companies, it gives them longer shelf life because they're putting so many chemicals in. So anytime we lobby for healthier food choices in our school systems, in our neighborhoods, the food industry is going right behind them with mm -hmm. billions and millions of dollars saying, no, we can't do that. 
How many of these foods would it take to kill you? Chocolate. Mm. We're talking bars. Bars? Bars of chocolate. Like a Hershey bar? Hershey bar. I'm going to say like 80. 80, 80 bars. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. 85 bars 85. would kill you. Yeah, pretty much in the realm here. I don't think... What? This guy could eat 85 bars. Well, you can eat 85 bars because he'll die. Here are some banned candies that could kill you. Number one is roadkill gummy candy. In 2004... Did you know that eating one food could be deadly if you have kidney disease? It's true. And it's an important reminder that we all need to pay attention to what we put into our bodies. It is tar fruit, also known as Evorola carambola. It is a sweet and tangy tropical food that is shaped like a five-pointed star. It has an edible skin with sometimes slightly bitter taste. Star fruit is more popular in Asian, Filipino and other tropical diets. Unfortunately, those with kidney disease or kidney damage must avoid star fruit since it contains a neurotoxin called cremboxin. Cremboxin can be filtered by healthy kidneys, but with kidney damage, this toxin cannot be filtered correctly and therefore builds up in the bloodstream, resulting in impaired movement and balance, difficulty speaking or swallowing. My goodness, talk about many ways to skin a cat. These people are skinning lions. They're giving artificial people artificial food. And people are dying in real life. This is sad what they're doing. As far as the foods, you got to be careful. As the fruits you eat, some of them are poisonous. And as far as the foods, as far as your health, it has to pertain to you. So you have to know yourself and know your body to know what you can take in. But you guys let me know what you think about it and um, have you came across any of these fruits or do you know these fruits? As in my um, culture, I'm from Barbados, uh, my family's from Barbados, so Ackies in Barbados are different than Ackies in Jamaica. You guys let me know if you ever heard of these fruits or if you ever heard of any of this, you know, eating. Ugh. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.